This is an audio test of the VideoMic Pro Plus versus the NTG3. Firstly, let's have a listen to the NTG3. Okay, so this is how the NTG3 sounds. It's got no foam covering on at the moment. The mic is completely bare. And this is the NTG3 from a distance of about 40 centimeters. Right, let's have a listen to the VideoMic Pro Plus. This is the same setup. I've removed the foam windshield from the VideoMic Pro Plus and it's mounted on top of the camera right next to the NTG3. So at the moment, it's a distance of 40 centimeters away. This is the second test of the VideoMic Pro Plus. This is at a distance of approximately one meter away from the microphone. Uh, same level, same volume, everything's set exactly the same, nothing's been changed uh, apart from I've moved away to about one meter away from the mic. And the same test with the NTG3 microphone, nothing being changed again, just moved away to approximately distance of uh, about one meter. So what I'm going to do now is put the foam windshields on each of the microphones because they each affect the mics differently and um, and then we'll try the tests again. I've put the windshields back on the microphone, just the black foam windshields that are supplied with both microphones. I think people are usually going to be using one of these with the microphones or a windshield of some kind. So it's arguably a more realistic test to see how the mics compare. Firstly, let's have a listen to the NTG3. Right, so this is the NTG3 microphone with the windshield on, with the foam windshield on, from a distance of 40 centimeters. And this is the VideoMic Pro Plus with the foam windshield on from a distance of 40 centimeters.